The other special interest group project that we are presenting today is Beam and VSDK. It's a toolkit to work with Navisvox file starting 2013 version. As Navisvox is a 3D model review software, the file formats are designed to integrate various projects from various file formats, to provide easy and fast access to properties and geometry data, and to store additional information useful for models review. ODA Beam and VSDK supports a full range of formats native for Navisvox, such as NWF uh, with only references to original files, NWD that contains all data from original files internally, and NWC a cache file with properties and geometry. Talking further, I'll focus more on NWD format as the most common one. To keep such different types of data, the file format uses a set of streams, and you can access data in those streams using the Beam and V API. Some streams define the file structure, model and scene, these are logical hierarchy, partitions, fragments and other. Some streams contain model review information, for example, a clash stream. Some streams are used for visualization. These are geometry streams with faceted uh, geometry, streams uh, with background and lights data. Along with data access, Beam Toolkit provides geometry data processing to pass this data to visualize SDK. And here you can see example of visualization in common ODA viewer application. Ivan Shulga, team lead of Beam and V team, will present new features we added the last year and say some words about our plans. Thank you, Sergey, and hello all. First of all, I would like to tell you about our improvements. The first improvement is advanced lights and materials. Let's open file with old version of BMW SDK from previous conference in Milan. Ah, here we can see there are some opaque and gray elements. And now I am going to open the same file with the latest version. You can see now we have advanced transparency, lights and materials. Moreover, now BMNV SDK opens file much faster. Regular NWD or NWF file can be represented with several sheets. One sheet is a particular tree of models, and each sheet doesn't depend on each other. Now we support this feature. Each sheet here is a tab in the bottom of the window. For example, three sheets here, and we can switch between them. We took care about performance. We reworked file loading mechanism, and as a result, we got more stable loading. Another important side of this refactoring was dramatic speed up of file loading in the single thread mode. Now, BIMNV SDK loads files faster in from 2 to 20 times. The third advantage is now it consumes less memory up to 5 times depending on file. But we didn't stop on this point. We implemented multi thread loading and got a speed up as well. This year we added support of new streams. I highlighted them on the slide. These are saved views element that contains different viewpoints with own camera settings and data like sections and red lines. And as you have guessed, the clash element contains data about the clash tests and clash test results. And it also simple to guess that lights element is a stream uh, with the settings of lights. Well, regarding common schemas and XREF table, we also provide data from these streams. We supported them to add the possibility to save NWF files. This slide shows how to visualize clash data in ODA Viewer. The first step is to open a file which already has such data. From Tool menu item, I'm opening collision window. 
And after clicking third party collisions button, I can select clash test and get all the test results for this test. As you can see, after clicking on the test result, ODA viewer hides unimportant elements and zooms to the selected issue. After it, I can click the button Return to Normal View and return back to Initial View. Next feature we supported is Sections, also named Cutting Planes. Now I am opening a file with four sections. They allow to look inside of objects. There are a diagonal section on the left side vertical section on the right side and horizontal sections on the top and on the bottom. Top section cuts the roof and the bottom section cuts the basement. Now I am changing left section. And let me show how this model looks without sections. To show how to perform a painting of a new file to NWF, we need two source files. First is RT file we want to append, and second is NWF file we want to append to. I opened these files in separate ODA viewers. In the right side you can see RT file, and in the left side NWF file. Uh, we can check NWF file has two root models in objects tree, and I want I want to append a new one. We created an example named OD NVF receiver. Let's run it. It takes a second. Hello, and now I'm going to show you the result. As you can see, the resulting NWF file contains now three models. One of them is RVT. And uh, we can also verify it in objects tree. At this moment, we cannot append a file to an WD file. But we are going to implement this possibility till the end of this year. First version will save file to the flight model. For example, if input file have a lot of nodes, output file will have only one high-level node and a lot of geometry nodes. Well, I have told you about our current progress, and now I want to make some notes about future plans. We have three months to implement NWD writing. In this scope, we are going to create API for geometry appending. We plan to make possible the creation of geometry like points, text, lines, ellipses, cylinders, and shells. 
Also, we should create the plugin to convert Visualize Database to NWD using Flat Object Scheme. And our next year plans include the module appending with full hierarchy. That's it. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.